So in the last 24 hours, we have had two patches applied to Black Ops 6. The latest one arrived about 20 minutes ago, and this patch is the also popular Pile Up Zombies glitch, but it's also a patch to the movement system, the Omni movement, which we will get to. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now on a weekly basis, I am giving away 5,000 card points. Now to win it, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video. Yes, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below. The more I see you active on my Black Ops 6 videos in the comment section, obviously, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick winners towards the end of the week. So good luck, everybody. Okay, so we've had two patches today. Like I said, one arrived about 20 minutes ago. Uh, this is the second one of today, uh, covering the 24 hour period of the 19th to the 20th of November. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. Global, reduce the minimum sprint time required to perform the following actions. Dive to prone or slide. Address an issue that could result in being unable to sprint when performing several actions within a short amount of time. These changes apply to both Black Ops 6 and Warzone and should result in more responsive movements with fewer occurrences where players attempt to dive to prone or slide and instead crouch. They then say they will continue to assess and identify areas for improved fluidity with Omni movement. Now I'm not going to lie, I have actually suffered quite a bit with trying to slide or dive and just crouching and it is kind of annoying. So it's good to see that they're actually working on a fix for this and have actually already incorporated one, a start, which is great. Okay, so multiplayer movement players will no longer be taken at a sprint when taking forward facing bullet damage with a melee weapon equipped that's actually great i mean i know a lot of people um i used to be big in the knifing community i know many many places do love to knife i myself on the smaller maps love to knife and this is definitely a great great change okay so zombies terminus addressed an issue where zombies could spawn in Definitely. Now, this is the also popular, what people call in the bot zombie lobby or the pile up zombie glitch, um, where you could basically, in a team or split screen, you could do a glitch where zombies would indefinitely spawn in a certain spot, and you could just literally stand there, guys, shooting them, getting all those challenges done for those camels, earning XP for your weapon for your player. So yeah, I knew it wouldn't be long before they actually patch this. And it seems as though, guys, it's been patched. Now, I haven't been on to test this. I just jumped straight on to record the video on these patch notes, but I'm pretty sure it will be confirmed within the comments section that this patch has been nerfed. Okay, so Liberty Fools addressed an issue where players would not be removed from a chopper gunner when starting the main quest final encounter. Now, I have saw another glitch in regards to a chopper gunner. I'm not sure if this is associated with that. But I'm sure you guys will let me know down below. Directed mode. x will now be triggered at the fifth hour of a directed mode match due to performance issues. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, now we have gobble gums. Addressed an issue that allowed gobble gums to persist indefinitely. And there we have stability. Added various stability fixes. So that is the latest patch in regards to patch notes applied on November 20th, November 19th. Uh, but we also got one earlier today and we're going to talk about that right now guys go through the patch notes for this um so global legacy xp tokens updated black ops 6 to support legacy xp functionality what this basically means guys is all the xp tokens the double xp tokens you earned on previous cards that they allowed you to use within black ops 6 um, which they brought in on the season one uh, day one patch which they then later on that day hot fixed out of the game they've brought this back so you won't have to go into warzone to activate those double xps to jump back into multiplayer they should all be there waiting for you to use in multiplayer and zombies so that's a great great change gameplay improved hit marker ui to help identify individual shots more easily cosmetics addressed an issue where weapon sites would be misaligned with the weaver repairman operator skin equipped store improve the loading of tracer and inspect preview videos for weapons cool multiplayer gunsmith added several missing language translations when swapping attachments score streaks improve steering in reverse review based vehicle controls ui addressed an unintentional bug where 
uh, MW2 and MW3 camels will be applied to Black Ops 6 weapons. Camels from previous titles were not designed for Black Ops 6 weapons and attachments and are not supported due to visual inconsistencies. Now that is a bummer, not that I knew about this but hey, addressed an issue where some perk bags were not displaying when creating load outs. I had this issue a lot, stability, various stability fixes and now onto zombies here, UI added additional information for the current save game in the map selection menu and then stability, various stability improvements. So they are the two patches we had. Uh, for the game again on the 19th to the 20th of November two in one day is kind of a big deal I'm not gonna lie but I still think there's a lot to come in regards to patches for this game I know we have an event coming in literally a day or so I expect another patch to land with this indeed because there still is a few other issues I'm experienced with the game many many players are experienced with the game too which they haven't covered right here I'm not sure if you guys have noticed it too, but in regards to sometimes I'm watching a kill cam, my game will freeze or stutter and just completely eliminate the actual preview window of that kill cam footage. I get this sometimes as well when I die or if I pick up a weapon off the floor, my game will sometimes freeze on the spot. Now I play on the Xbox Series X, but I also play crossplay with players on PC and they have the exact same issue. So it doesn't seem to be a certain platform problem. So I'm hoping they drop a fix on this very, very soon. It could be a part of the stability fixes they applied with their previous two patches. Now they have not long tweeted out this right here, Black Ops 6 Warzone. Some PlayStation players may encounter login issues, including the Puget Lakes error message when attempted to connect to Black Ops 6 after an update. This is expected behavior as your account receives the most recent update. This may happen with some updates and will resolve shortly after your update is complete. So if you do have any error message guys relating to this, hey, you know exactly what it is guys. But yeah, there we have it guys in regards to the latest and greatest surrounding Black Ops 6. Now I'm actually quite happy they're releasing many, many updates and patches to the game, trying to make it the best game they possibly can. I mean, it's far from that in my opinion, but it's still probably my favorite card I've played in the past few years for sure. But hopefully in time it gets even better. One thing I will say, I didn't think I would say is I'm loving the Omni movement. How do you guys feel about that? Let me know down below. But yes, if any more information comes in regards to Black Ops 6 patch notes, updates, news, the latest and greatest, I'll have you covered right here on my channel. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.